Guys, it's Not Swan here from Noodle Head Productions, and I'm bringing you a review on the Smith and Wesson M3000 shotgun for tactical and uh, Stinger P9. We start off with the uh, shotgun. Uh, it's at least two to three feet in uh, length, 325 FPS. Uh, not adjustable stock. Comes with two extra clips. And uh, you can change the hop up uh, to normal and uh, bounce. It, uh, it's all plastic, as you can see. It uh, costs at least 30 something bucks. And it uh, comes with a speed loader. And uh, just nicely fits in there and shoot up like that. So, clip has a nice fit. It's nice and small and uh, it's good for maneuverability. It's easier to aim if you just put your hand here, cock it, stick it here, and shoot. And uh, yeah, that's the M2000 shotgun. Now over to the P9. Uh, Stinger P9, it's a uh, two 50 FPS, no, 275 FPS, but it's probably depleted to 250 right now. It, uh, when you run out of BBs in your clip, uh, the safety mechanism, it locks so that, uh, you know when you run out of BBs and you can reload it. This, uh, clip has a reservoir, holds up to 180 BBs, and uh, all you have to do is put the BBs in there, close this, put the spring box thing back and just tap the BBs in. This uh, clip holds up to 12 BBs and you never have to reload in the war. So yeah, the P9 comes with a holster where you can put an extra clip in there. So yeah, that's the M2000 shotgun and the Stinger P9. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to